In this lecture, I am going to show you this transport management app I have developed on code.org using the basic features of AppLab. So there are four different panels I've defined uh, for making this app a more realistic one. Now, if it is an admin person, how he can access his respective panel, he just have to hit this image button over here and automatically this prompt box is going to appear right on the top of this app uh, where he can enter the required password for accessing his respective panel. So this is a password which I've defined in the coding, coding area. Now when he hit this OK button. Welcome to the transport integer panel. This is what he's going to come across. So this is uh, the transport manager panel. Fine. Now with the help of his panel, he can assign uh, different routes to different drivers. For example, if he want to assign this route number one to let's say uh, some driver named Mr. Harish. So he can do it like this and here he can enter his phone number so 10 times 8 I am entering over here so this is the phone number of this driver and when the transport manager will hit this button you added a driver successfully in this way he can add a driver to a particular route let's now add a driver to this route number 2 so I am adding Mr. Neeraj whose phone number is Fine, and let's hit this button over here. You added a driver successfully. So Mr. Harish has been added to route number one and Mr. Neeraj is going to drive on route number two. Okay, let's now check out how the drivers can access their respective panel. So for that, what they can do, they can hit this beautiful image over here. And again, this brown box is going to appear like this. And here they will be asked for their respective phone number which with which this uh, transport manager has registered. Uh, the respective profile on this platform so if it is Mr. Harish so he can enter this phone number fine and when he will hit this OK button Hi Mr. Harish here's your dashboard okay so this is the beautiful dashboard he is going to come across where uh, his name uh, the phone number and the root number is go are going to get reflected somewhat like this fine similarly if uh, Mr. Neeraj would want to access his respective panel, what he can do, he can also write down his number over here. Hi, Mr. Neeraj, here's your dashboard. Okay, so that's how the drivers can access their respective panels. Now let's check out the second part of this app in which I'm going to show you how an admin person can access a uh, her respective panel and register different students too. She can hit this beautiful image over here and automatically a prompt box like this is going to appear right on the top where she can enter the required password. So admin123 is a password with which she can access the admin's Welcome panel. Welcome to the admin panel. So this is how it looks like. Now let's upload a profile on this platform through this admin's panel. So I'm going to select a pic first from my desktop. And here I am going to write down the admission number of Nevi. Let's say it is 2121. Now let's hit this uh, submit student profile. But before that, before that, let me uh, show you this transport managers panel. So as soon as I hit this submit student profile button, this transport manager is going to get a notification on his, on his respective panel successfully created your profile. A new student, a new student Kindly have been assign added him to the a relevant database. Route number. Kindly assign him a relevant root number. Okay, so Nevi's profile is going to get reflected somewhat like this. Over here on this uh, transport manager's panel in the form of a notification thing. Fine, now, uh, you know, uh, transport manager can assign her a route from this drop down. But before that, I would like to show you how Nevi can access her respective uh, profile or you can say her respective dashboard on this beautiful app. So what she can do, she can hit this uh, student's image over here and here she need to enter the admission number. Okay, so this is what she is going to come across. Now here is his... Dear. Here's your dashboard. Your bus route will be assigned to you very soon. Okay, so this is how uh, her dashboard is going to look like. 
right on the top her profile pic is uh, getting reflected and here her name is getting reflected this is her address phone number then admission number but the route has not been assigned yet to her right let's now assign a route with the help of this transport managers panel so i am assigning her uh, for now let's assign her this route number 2 okay and let's set this but before that i would like to bring this route number to drivers panel over here because i would like to see whether he will get any kind of notification or not once the transport manager is done with adding nevi to this route number 2 on which he is driving the bus let's hit this uh, beautiful button over here and see what is going to happen thanks for assigning the route to nevi jane New Our transport have been team added has to your assigned route. you route 2 as per the address Please provided by you. drop down and check the relevant details. So as you can see, uh, now route number 2 is getting reflected on Nevi's panel. Okay, let's now check whether this driver will be able to see Nevi's profile on his, on his dashboard or not. So yes, uh, Nevi's address is getting visible to us. Let's select this address and now I'm going to hit this beautiful driver's image. So as you can see, Nevi's profile is getting reflected over here. Her phone number is uh, getting reflected over here. Her name is uh, right in front of us. And her admission number is also there uh, on this driver's panel. Now, if suppose this driver want to pick up Nevi, what he can do, he can hit this pick up button. Hi, Nevi Jane will be soon notified about your arrival. Hi, our driver, Mr. Mr. Neeraj has arrived to pick your child. So as you can see, uh, Mr. Neeraj and his phone number and this uh, image is getting reflected on Nevi's panel. So she'll get a notification on her uh, respective device about this pickup. Fine. Let's uh, hit this image and this is how Nevi can uh, make all the three components go disappear from her respective panel. Now let's see whether this driver will be able to send the drop message also to Nevi's parent or not. So he can hit this drop button, drop button over here. Hi Nevi Jane will be soon notified about your arrival. Hi, our driver Mr. Mr. Neeraj has arrived to drop your child. Okay, so this is how this app is going to help in managing the transport. Okay. Okay, now let me show you the code which I have made use of for developing this beautiful transport management app on code.org using the basic features of Appla. Okay, so this is the whole code. Now, um, this is the code which I have defined for this particular image. So automatically a prompt box is going to appear where the user will have to input this password and he's going to get redirected on this admins panel screen. Similarly, if uh, it is an admin person, so automatically he will be redirected on screen 2 which is the transport managers panel fine and this is a code with which we will be able to redirect the admin person on this beautiful admin screen let me show that admin screen to you this is the one and with the help of this code over here we will be able to redirect a student on this students panel where is that students panel let me show it to you so this is the one where he'll be able to see his complete profile getting reflected fine now with the help of this code which I've defined for this beautiful image 5 the I will be able to redirect a driver on his respective drivers panel where he'll be able to see his name, his phone number and the route which the transport manager has assigned to him. Fine. Now let's come on this code which I have defined for this button 1 over here. So as you can see, uh, this is a button and when the admin person will hit this button over here, automatically a table with name students is going to get created. And uh, you know in real time, this transport manager is going to get a notification of that student which the admin has added to this panel uh, to this app and after that 
he can assign a root number to this student okay and once he's done with that he can hit this image button over here and automatically after uh, once he's done with hitting this image button the name of which is a student this is a code which is going to get uh, executed by the compiler of this platform so a table with name assigned is going to get created automatically on this uh, app on the browser connected to this app and in the real time you know this driver will be also notified about the student who have been added who has been added to the route on which he is driving the bus okay so this is the whole code and besides that you know i have defined the code for this drop down also the name of this drop down is addresses so this is the code which is going to get executed once the driver is done with hitting this addresses named drop down all the addresses of all the students who have been assigned the route number on which this uh, bus driver is driving by the transport manager he will be able to see all of them getting reflected over here in this drop down now whatever address he will select after that when he will hit this image button over here he will be able to see the profile of the student who uh, who has been registered on this address which this driver will select over here in these two boxes so the student's name is going to get reflected over here and the student's uh, admission number is going to get reflected over here his phone number will be visible to the driver over here now once uh, the driver will hit this pickup button automatically that student will be notified okay and how he will uh, be notified so this code is going to get executed find a table with id pickup is going to get created and in real time uh, this code is going to get executed and the student it will get a notification in real time on his respective panel similarly when the driver will hit this drop button again the student will receive a, re a notification on his respective panel in real time fine so that's how i have created this beautiful beautiful transport management app on code.org using the basic features of app lab hope you guys enjoyed this lecture a lot do like and subscribe to my channel and also do share the link of this video in your group so that more and more students can come and join my channel and learn coding free of cost in case you want to avail the coding classes facility you guys are most welcome to contact me anytime on my phone number 9891665634 and get yourself registered for the online coding classes i am providing on zoom platform that too in just rupees 500 thank you very much god bless you and namaste have a great day bye bye